High school can be a difficult time for any teen, but perhaps more so for transgender teens. But one local school district is trying to make those four years a little easier, giving staff some special training to better support transgender students. Our Seanette Wilson reports from Bucks County. Some staff members within the Central Bucks School District are helping the district become more inclusive of transgender students. It's with the help of some community members that they are making sure these students are supported and have advocates in the classroom. I'm transgender male and bisexual. 16-year-old Daniel Mott says since elementary school, it's been rough. I just remember coming home crying to my sister about how someone was telling me that I was too manly, quote unquote, um, or crying saying that like all I want to do is be a boy. But Daniel hopes things will get easier for students now that some staff in the Central Buck School District will be attending a transgender inclusion training. Whether they're transgender or not, just knowing that wherever they are, no matter what classroom they're in, that they're going to be supported. Last month, the Central Bucks School Board voted against sending Linden Elementary School counselor Dr. Seth Graziosi Hibbs, pictured here on the Central Bucks School District website, to a conference on transgender inclusion training. The following board meeting, officials reversed the decision and approved the $1,000 course. Supporting affirming schools benefits all students. A welcoming, inclusive environment celebrates all student differences, including gender, help shapes understanding and acceptance of others. And Dr. Graziosi Hibbs isn't the only staff member who will attend. Parent Emily Lieberman and other moms heard about the initial issue with financing and started a GoFundMe. When I saw it was the counselor at my kid's elementary school, I said, wow, I, I take this a little personally. Like, I want the counselor at my kid's school to go to this training. The community donated more than $5,000. Once the school district decided to pay for Dr. Graziosi, the community used its money to send five more staff. The training is part of Widener University's Affirming Schools for Transgender Students program. I think it's really important um, to stand up for other people because you don't know when it's going to be your turn and you need somebody to stand up for you. 14 year old Lily Freeman identifies as a female of trans experience and is encouraged by staff wanting to attend the training. No matter what gender identity, what sexual orientation, I want them to feel like they belong. And I feel like when teachers understand, they're able to create that environment. In Bucks County, Seanette Wilson, Fox 29 News.